Hello dear students, once again, you're welcome to JC Tutorials. On this platform, we make social studies simple for you. I welcome you to another edition of the Did You Know segment. Okay, so this segment, I've already told you that it brings you facts and ideas in the simple form. So you have just a short form of it and then you can make your brief notes or summary notes. Alright, so here, if you are watching this video for the first time or you are here and you've not subscribed yet go scroll down and then subscribe to this video also share with other friends over there and also like comment and then make sure that you make your friends your friends i'm very much concerned about this because you can't learn this alone you have to share with other friends out there so on this uh, particular edition i'm going to bring you the question for this um, um, segment and then we'll look at what we have to know or what we already know and then add up all right so let's go straight into our question for did you know this all right so you seen the question for today and I believe that some, some of you out there already have an idea concerning this particular question. Well, we are talking about land deals here. So this takes us back into history. Um, it's um, under uh, government politics and stability. So those who are in JHS, junior high school, have to learn this in Form 1. That is the first year. So in the first year, you'll be taught colonization and then national development. Then we also talk about independence and nationhood. Now, under independence and nationhood, there were landmark events or important events that took place between 1800 and then 1900. And then 1900 and 1957, so we gained independence. All right. So one of the events that we are going to talk about with regards to the question we have on the Juno segment today uh, falls between 1800 and then 1900. All right, now we are talking about land use. Now, th this brings us the idea that there was a time in the Gold Coast where the British colonial government wanted to take the traditional lands or the land belonging to the people, the natives. Okay, or let me say the Gold Coasters. So, the local people were not happy that their, their own lands were going to be made lands belonging to foreigners. Okay, so they had to. Um, um, wake up and then fight for their own rights now this was happening around 1895 and 1896 okay and it led to the formation of a certain association okay in 1897 so when they heard about the land bills being introduced by the british colonial government they wanted to um, um, exercise their displeasure okay or show how they were not okay with that particular decision and do everything possible to kick against the bill so hours. those lands were actually going to be, be made crown lands and when i mention the crown or i say the crown i'm talking about the um monarch of the united kingdom or the queen so the crown refers to the queen so it means that all those lands will be uh, uh, made land that belong to the queen. Okay, so the blacks will not have control or ownership over them. So this had to um, um, bring a lot of um, cases whereby the blacks started complaining in the Gold Coast. So intellectuals who we could say they were educated elites. Uh, these educated people had to get up and then fight for the rights of the natives and these natives were called the aborigines okay so we had john mensa saba and a group of people coming together je kesley hayford coming together to form this association that we call the aborigines rights protection society okay
papers that I'm talking about included uh, the John Mensah Saba I've already mentioned. So we had uh, Jacob Wilson say. Jacob Wilson say was also there. Kobna Sechi, the popular Kobna Sechi was also there. Now all these people came together and said, okay, we have to form an association and then fight for the rights of the people. So they came together and then formed the association we call the Aborigines Rights Protection Society. Aborigines Rights Protection Society. So the word Aborigin here means natives. Okay, so they are actually the natives, so we can interpret this as the natives' rights. What are the rights? The right to claim ownership of, over their own land. That's the, their own land. Because they felt that the land bills that um, um, were going to be passed by the British government or British colonial government will become a, a threat to the traditional land ownership. Okay, so they won't have control over that the, those lands anymore. So they have to let these people fight for their rights. So that's why they called it the Aborigines Rights Protection Society. is to protect the rights of the natives or of the Aborigines. Okay, so these people came together. I, I'll, I'll show you uh, pictures of of John C. And then um, um, you see John Mensah Saba, Sidney Kesley Hayford. All right, the few. Okay, so this association was actually successful so it was formed in 1897 so the passing of the land bills to take the crown to take the traditional lands and make them crown lands okay led to the formation of the aborigines rights protection society so if we are talking about land bills here you can describe it as the bill or the law passed by the British colonial government to make traditional lands or the lands of the natives in the Gold Coast the crown land or crown lands. Okay, and this was formed in 1897. So you see, it's an event that took place between 1800 and then 1900, and this. Um, it's in the 19th century, okay, the 19th century, all right. So that is what we have for today's edition of Did You Know? I believe you have learned something, and if you already have an idea about this, you've also added something to what you already know, okay. So today we've been able to look at the Aborigines Rights Protection Society as one of the movements that was formed by these educated people or elite or intellectuals to fight and protest against the land bills so i told you that because they were intellectuals they knew a lot about the law so even some of them had to go to england as lawyers to represent the gold coasters here and then fight for our land so they succeeded in doing that and then we got our land back that's how come we don't have um, lands here that British would just come and then take over and use uh, to whatever they want uh, it to be used for. Okay, so that is what we have for today's edition of Did You Know? Continue watching JCL tutorials. We'll bring you more of the edition or the episodes of the Did You Know? segment. All right, so. If you have questions, like I said, don't hesitate, put them in the comment section and I'll be back to address all those questions. All right. So that's it for Did You Know? And I'll meet you again with another edition. Take care. Bye-bye.